Hola! And welcome back to Sonic Runner's Adventure. So we bought Espio at the end of last episode, and now we got Charmy, who is exactly the same, except he converts 30% of coins into a bigger coin. Or something like that. I believe that's Team Chaotix's uh, like skill thing? Something like that. Where it converts rings into times 10 rings for like 5 seconds is I think what it does. But Charmy, cute little bee, and uh, very annoying voice. So the fact that the characters in this game don't actually talk may be a great thing. Because again, I Charmy, you know, might be a cool little character, but very annoying voice. They always do that with insects though, like insect characters in shows, they sort of make them high-pitched, squealy, sort of annoying, at least most of the time. Unless I've just been watching the wrong movies, I mean, I don't frequently only watch insect films to be fair. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of kids films like uh, Ants, um, I actually can't think of any others. Oh, that was... That was an interesting topic discussion. I could think of one example and that's it. Good job! Um, but this is this guy seems to work exactly the same as Tails, just like how Shadow worked exactly the same as Sonic. Oh god, we got these like stone things in the way. What happens if we smash into a stone? Does it kill us or do we bounce off? I'm sure we'll end up finding out by the end of this episode, probably. Uh, I really do wish we could actually control our character during those little sections there. They're like the most interesting parts. Whoa, everything just got converted into times 10 rings and now my game is lagging. Oh no, don't, please no. Don't tell me that this is like poorly optimized and now whenever my ability activates I actually can't play properly. Oh no. <laughs> Look, I know mobile games are prone to sort of overwork devices unless you have a super good phone. Oh god, it's back. Maybe you won't be able to see it, but I feel it when I'm playing. Like, the frames definitely drop. I'm gonna blame all of my like hits into walls and that on that, and not the fact that I'm bad. Is that okay? I'm I'm okay with saying that. We've got little caterpillars on the floor here. I do like the little caterpillars that they have so far. Plus, it seems like you can hit any part of their body and they die anyway. So you know, it's basically just free points. Oh, there we go. Done. And now we get to see a bee flying through space. Like, there's nothing else to say about these, like, sections here. They're just... There's nothing to them. Oh, look, you want some free rings? Go get some! You want some free stuff? Go get it! That's basically all that this is. And nice to end it. As with every other bonus stage. Wa pow And all three quests were completed. Nice. Well, we are like halfway through World 2 now. Hmm, without the facility, I thought Eggman would run out of robots by now. I better go get to the bottom of this mystery. So, finish the level with no damage on Charmy. Again, there's no damage prerequisites. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do them on just a random run through because I'm trying to focus on getting brings, trying to focus on killing the enemies. And, you know, it's just a lot to take in. Plus there's this killer tornado in the background that's always giving me anxiety. So, at least we've already taken damage. So now, I don't have to worry about it. All I have to do is worry about these other two little mini quests that we have. So, we're almost done, actually. We're done with the ring collection. We just need to defeat enemies now. God, no, I didn't see him soon enough. There's a lot of snails over here. A lot of snails. And 
Which way is the better way to go to encounter more enemies? Is it up or down? Seems like there's quite a lot of them down here. Is this is lap two on the third lap? We'll have to decide which way we want to go. I think if we go down again, maybe we... Oh god, I didn't even see it. Feels bad. Maybe if we do go down... What? Did I... Did I just phase through the spring? What? What just happened? Maybe I'm going insane. I know I hit into the wall. Maybe when I went to fly, I just bounced off the wall. But it... I... Oh, whatever. Whatever, I guess we have to do the stupid bonus stage. Nice! Well, let's just restart that completely. I genuinely don't remember what I did. Or don't know what I did. Let, let's pretend that, like, that run never happened. Alright. So we got all these huge coins, uh, rings up the top. I've I've smacked into the spikes again. Never ever will I learn in my life not to do that. Got the bonus capsule again, which is nice. Yeah, and if I ever want to retry the level however many times, you know, the bonus levels are going to come in handy because it, it'll be like... Uh, there's so many st stupid balls everywhere. But it's like... If I want to redo or like give myself an extra life to keep doing a level basically, then that's what, 100, then 150, then something else amount. So if I get like 200 rings per bonus level, that's paid for a free revive basically. So there's no reason not to do the bonus stages apart from the fact that they're just a bit dull. But... Eh. You know, I guess thinking about it like that, like, think every time you have to go through this stupid bonus stage, that's a free revive, so you don't have to do the level again. You know, thinking about it like that, that makes, that makes it a little bit more manageable, I think, or a little bit less tedious feeling. But either way, we're about to finish this level. Let's just take a little cozy trip. And try and fly over everything. We didn't quite make it. Almost. And we have to do this again. Ugh. <laughs> so, if you quit out of the level and you've already collected a capsule, you'll still be given the bonus stage. So I guess that's a really, really easy way to get rings really quickly. So, like, you just get the... Um, capsule then kill yourself and come and do the bonus stage get the capsule kill yourself come and do the stage and you know basically got unlimited amounts to bring oh. so darn it i lost track of eggman in the sandstorm i better head back to check on sonic and see if he can help us catch this cracked weirdo quack cracked wacko not weirdo oh a rouge so collect Rings and defeat enemies, but collect rings using Rouge. So... Th this is the shad- the dark, um, section, so she turns enemies into golden enemies for five seconds. So I assume that that means it changes them into enemies which give you double the amount of, like, enemy points. You know how we have- collect this amount of rings collect or defeat this amount of enemies i'm assuming that the golden enemies has something to do with these quests and i don't know i don't know how much of a difference it makes if any oh god i accidentally started flying i just wanted to jump again but obviously the second time we start flying like when we try and do a double jump it's not a double jump it turns into a float you must remember this. Stop! Stop! You didn't even need to jump there! This is just going to be mind games with me trying to deal with this honestly. And this stage feels quicker. Is it just me? Or does this stage feel quicker than most of the others? Like, there's, 
There's missiles flying all around my mind. Like, all around the screen, and it's kind of insane. And this is a loop stage. We'll have to go down one of these times. I've actually just died. Did I not have any rings on me? Did I actually not have any rings? Why did I die there? You know, there's something I'm missing. Because so many of these times I feel like, why did I fly that high? Why did I instantly die this time instead of being given the opportunity to actually survive instead of just dying in one shot? Again, maybe it's just me not knowing how the game works yet, but some of these deaths feel pretty BS. Especially when you, like, die, then revive, and then it puts you back in a hole. That is not fun. Personally, I would say I am not a major fan of that interaction. So if we can avoid that happening as much as possible, that would be fantastic. And, oh god, I've flown into a missile again! Oh, and another one. Doesn't matter though, because we have our unlimited revive mechanic. <laughs> You'll never win against me, game. We actually have the power of hacks, basically. Well, I imagine it's probably designed like that, so if you're like a little kid trying to play, then you don't just like get stuck behind a certain level so you can just permanently play keep progressing without having to worry about it in which case that is really sad i do not want to say i have the capabilities of just a child please don't say that that's very rude of you game i don't appreciate that and hey look Look over there, that's Eggman flying off in the distance. This time, we're not going to lose him. Great spotting, Sonic. Eggman won't slip away from us again. I feel like you'll say that every time, won't you, Tails? But, uh, next time we will move on and probably end up doing the boss fight. If anything, and moving on to already World 3. So, thanks for watching and until next time, I will see you then.